anyone else single and in their 30s and kind of like these apps are just making me feel worse about dating so i want to delete them but also then you have the fear that if you delete them how the hell are you going to meet somebody or is that just me yes that is just you and other females i say this because a woman she doesn't need to not even doesn't need to she isn't fearful about not finding someone outside of dating that because she actually has a life and her life revolves around whatever she's been doing as a woman now if you are fearful that you ain't gonna meet anyone else outside that dating app that tells me a lot about you and what the hell you are doing in your life and why is it that you can't even be able to attract a man outside of a dating app see that tells people a lot about you the fact that you waited until you became unattractive to men that they don't even want to hit you up outside in the street no more or are you that picky that you don't want to be with those guys that actually are interested in you outside those dating apps so my point is this is a big you problem that you need to deal with because you wasted your time through where your prime years when you were actually had a great window to meet guys out outside of a dating app but now because you've hit the wall those chances have decreased and you have left yourself only men from dating apps that's a you problem we need to talk about being single in your late 20s and early 30s because it's ghetto out here the one thing that I absolutely hate is having conversations with people who are in long-term relationships or who are already married about dating. I hate this topic and it gives me so much anxiety. Conversation usually goes like this. Do you want to be married? Yes. Okay. So what are you looking for? And then I tell them what I'm looking for. And the response is always how I need to either lower or adjust my desires and expectations in order to be married or find a partner. Given, it's given settle. It's given settle. It's getting subtle for less. And I don't think the people who have these conversations with me are intentionally trying to crush my self-esteem, trying to set fire to my hopes and desires and expectations, but you kind of are. Because you're in a roundabout way telling me that the things that I'm hoping for and desire aren't attainable to me for some reason. And most of these conversations, like I said, are with people who are married or are in long-term relationships. So you have the partner that you wanted, that you chose, maybe even that you settled for, but it was still your choice. So why can't I have that? And another thing, I'm a woman of faith. I'm not saying that God is going to choose my partner for me. He may if I ask him to, but I do have this submitted to him and I'm trusting him to bring the right person into my life at the right timing, just like he's done with everything else. So when I'm communicating a desire that I have, a hope and expectation, and it's met with the response that it needs to be adjusted, it's not just a matter of a relationship. It is a matter of faith for me at least. And also, I know that there's some aspect to it that does involve age and people's expectation or society or culture's expectation of what your life should look like in your late 20s or early 30s as a woman. But that's being now projected onto me. And I do feel like sometimes people are telling me to accept less because of my age or where I am in life. And I just need everybody to know it's not that hard to find a husband, but it is hard to find the right one. And I'm waiting and trusting God for the right one. So y'all, if if you feel me on this, if you've had experiences like this, if you get where I'm coming from, please let me know that I'm not alone in the comments. And if you're like me and you're not entertaining a bunch of different people because you're trusting God to bring the right person into your life, we're in this together. Okay, bye. So it's just about what you're looking for but the men that you are on these dates with are you what they're looking for how do you know they haven't even settled or adjusted the fact that even they're with you in the first place entertaining this conversation but it comes down to you when you're not even in your best at 30 which 
you was in your best in your prime years but you're not even retaining that in your 30s so you complain how you don't want to adjust all your needs but men should adjust their needs for you it's rich coming from someone who is overweight and can't even seem to be in her best healthy state but it always comes down to what you want you see there are reasons why the things that you want are not attainable because the truth is if this is what you really wanted your life would reflect it and you would have did the work that you needed to do on yourself to be able to get the man that you want but you didn't do that you didn't do that with your weight and you didn't do that with your time nor your prime years so now you just want things that you don't even deserve or haven't even worked for you do have a choice you have a choice to what you want to compromise you will speak about everybody else's relationship but that that they actually worked for you speak about everybody else's relationship but you don't even know what people had to compromise to even get into those relationships and what are the things that you do not want to compromise that's also another question because it's very vague are these things petty financially is it high is it weight is it who he is what is it because it seems like you have a very specific type of guy that you want to give yourself to but you can't seem to find so that guy doesn't want you anyways and the guys that do want you you don't want so it comes back down to you leaving getting a husband having a family at last minute in your 30s and you don't want to compromise while being overweight then you will say it's not hard to find a husband it's hard to find a husband for you let's be honest though you are not in the best place you're not even in your prime years to even be really asking for perfection because you are far from it yourself it's hard for you to find a husband because you're out of your prime years and you're asking for a man that probably isn't even interested in you what you do have is really a reflection of you and that's why you need to compromise because you already compromised your time by looking for a husband in your 30s so men are compromising for you because you compromised your own time and now they're just getting leftovers hey bestie i don't know if any of you experience this but as i get older i spend a lot more time alone and i spend a lot more time like on weekends alone a time when i was just talking to one of my closest friends the other day and i had this feeling of like i want to be with people but i don't want to be extroverted <laughs> like where do people go like where do people belong and it kind of was sad at the time because I was like, people belong with their families. People belong in a family unit. People don't, I feel, aren't meant to like live alone in the way that so many of us do. But nevertheless, this is where I'm at in my life and I do love my life as it is, but there are these moments of looking around and feeling like, where is everybody? Like, where am I supposed to be right now? Um, so tonight, I, all of the girlfriend we went and saw the Oscar nominated animated I like the honesty because she says something that's very true people belong in a family unit and what she's really saying is she's come to realize how unhealthy it is for her mental state to always be alone so she's coming to see how depressing it is and how that's actually affecting her every single day and the older she is getting more people are now with families have a home and their time is spent with their families and their husbands 
so they don't really have time for her either and the people that do have time for her they're alone too so what i'm saying is she will be with her friends and her girlfriends they'll meet up but guess what they all individually go home by themselves and they're left alone in that moment in that time with where am i supposed to be she asks what am i supposed to do right now it's all fun when you're out and about going work shopping with your friends having brunches but is that trip back home and that's what she's talking about that's why she said most of us because it's females who are alone it's females who find themselves alone in these homes and they're the ones that are going through this episode of what am i supposed to do what is my meaning because the truth is a female isn't gonna go out and reconstruct the world she doesn't have that capability so there's certain things these single females they're not doing because they know they can't do and there's careers that they picked that really does nothing but just give them money that's nothing to do with society either so in her 30s she's realizing that she made a mistake by prioritizing being a feminist over being a woman and being married and having children and having a husband because being alone isn't what it all set out to be and actually having a family around you is a lot more healthier even in the bible god said to adam it's not good for you to be alone and made eve so if it wasn't healthy for even adam to be alone what do these females think as if it's any better for them and they don't even have god adam at least did let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe. Bye!